My name is Pam Woodbury. I'm the Council on Aging Director from the town of Spencer, Massachusetts. But I sit before you today as a patient of UMass Memorial Medical Center in Worcester, Massachusetts. On January 5th of 2011, I took a fall down my cellar stairs and was taken by ambulance to UMass Memorial. Uh, they couldn't perform, perform surgery that night, but surgery was performed on January 13th, 2011. It was quite a complicated surgery, but I was put in a cast. I was bedridden and returned to a doctor at the hospital on January 25th. At that time, it was noticed that I had an infection, and I was told it was a hospital-acquired infection. I was put on antibiotics. Two weeks later, the antibiotics weren't working. I was following all doctor's orders, and at that time, they chose to put me in the hospital. I went into the hospital on February 8th, and on February 9th, I had a second surgery to have the original surgical incision debrided. After that, it was one of the most discouraging weeks of my life. I was placed in a room with a patient. The patient that I was in the room with shouldn't have survived her injuries. She had catastrophic injuries, and I was stunned that she was even alive at this point. She was a young girl in her 20s, and at this point, she had been in a coma for about three months. She was now conscious, but unfortunately, she weighed about 100 pounds or less. She was totally bedridden, totally totally dependent on the nursing staff. One night, I was sound asleep and I was awoken by her crying. I couldn't help her and I asked her what the problem was and she said she had rung the bell for the nurse an hour before and she was on the bedpan and she couldn't get off and she was in agony. So I called and the nurse came in and said she had been in admission, admitting a patient at that time. The next incident happened Seven days later, when I was getting ready for discharge the night before, an elderly woman, 87 years old, <coughs> came into the room as my next patient. She had a broken hip. She was scared. She was frightened. She was in pain. The nurse was in and out of that room all night. I did not want to interfere with the care that that 87-year-old woman was getting, but I noticed an extreme pain in my right arm. When I looked down, my arm was swollen, red, itchy and the most excruciating pain I had ever felt. I had vancomycin infiltration into all the tissue surrounding my IV. The nurse then took care of my, me and immediately went back to her. I can tell you I got excellent nursing care. It was just that I overheard her say that this woman had been in boarding and now they were admitting her onto the floor. She was running in a million directions. So it doesn't even address the fact that I had to pay all the co-pays and I take care of senior citizens for a living and some of them can't afford those co-pays. I'm lucky enough to write a check and I'm here today to tell you that as a patient and as a COA director who my responsibility is to take care of senior citizens is to tell you I have to emphasize the need for this patient safety act. It's the right thing to do. It's needed and it's our moral obligation. And thank you for hearing me this afternoon.